No first pick Lotus or Soul Ring. Is it even worth playing this out? Maybe we should just drop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, I'm looking at Misty, I'm looking at Confluence, Ponder, Zealous. I think normally I would just take the Misty Rainforest and move on. Let's take the Zealous here. Spellseeker, Pyromancer, those are my top two. Watery Grave, I guess. Spellseeker, or rather, uh, Pyromancer is not a very high pickup, it's just when I have Conscripts already. I'm leaning toward trying to combo. Let's take the Force of Negation here. Oh my god, this, this green screen redemption, what the hell? Who did this, Sakaji? <laughs> Why? I don't want this. I don't want this green screen redemption. Wait, why doesn't it fit? <laughs> I'm gonna take Spell Pierce here. <laughs> Have him lick my head. Alright, uh, Breeding Pool, Faithless Looting. If we're trying to combo Faithless Looting is probably a little bit better. Ren and Six. Well, now I wish I had taken the Breeding Pool. I'll take this over Treasure Cruise or whatever. This card has high upside. Days I do enjoy. Had we taken uh, the Misty Rainforest, Ren and Six would already be pretty nice. Blalum. Blalum. I guess that's not a blem. That's more of a... Morphos is good here. <sighs> Ooh, wield the canal, that's good. Uh, losing out on a Chain Lightning and Dank Dwellers could be good, but easy pick there. Yeah, it's not the green screen you need, it's just the one you deserve. Alright, we wield basically all of the cards in our colors right now. And again, I think I just like the Looty Tootie. Kavu's fine, sideboard. We've seen like all of the lightning strike effects this pack. Hmm. All right. Uh, time walk. Ancestral. I haven't had ancestral today. I'm obviously due for it. Fine. I mean, whatever, dude. Whatever's. I guess I'll just take this mock sapphire that happens to be on color. We've seen Mind Twist almost every single draft today. Spicy. Plenty of good options in that pack. I don't think we're going to wheel the Mox Diamond, which was another card I wanted. <laughs> yeah, please. just Can you pass me Mox Ruby with literally no other playables? I'm not asking for much. Oh! Mmm. All right, all right, all right. Passing Dig Through Time, Ancient Grudge are the next two cards we would want out of here. Uh, so tomorrow, I don't know how long I'm going to stream tomorrow, but ooh, the big D. Uh, I do have two cards from Double Masters to reveal. Um, in addition to some goodies to open up from Reese's uh, and then afterwards I might end the stream early because I know Crokies is doing the boomers versus whatever zoomers or whatever he calls it 
historic slash standard event. I think it's historic and standard. I don't remember exactly. Mystical Tutor, is that good enough here? I think we might just take the Red Signet. <laughs> no, I don't think we need Typhoon. Siggy's nice. Might go with the uh, Seething Song here. I think I actually like this quite a bit. Normally I would probably take the Sacred Foundry. But I think Se the Seething Song has good potential. Uh, Enlightened Tutor has the upside of potentially being able to grab Splinter Twin, but I don't have Twin or Kiki Cheeky yet. And Wear and Tear is just very good otherwise, so I think I'm okay with that. I have Signet now, so Return is not terrible, but I think, again, potential here for Breach could be very good. Uh, this Dread Horde looks medium, Banefire looks medium. I mean, I mean, maybe there's a world where... I guess it's possible I pick up enough one-mana cantrips in the last pack. It's just unlikely. Rider is good to breach, but I, unless I pick up some other reason to, it, it's not a good enough reason. <laughs> Batman is out of his mind. You think that's Batman? Oh god, are there limited super qualifiers again? Those ones I'm actually able to play in. All of those random championship events, I can't. Don't get my hopes up. M21 Sealed SCQ. I believe I cannot play in those. Wait, no, what is today? 28th? Take through time's a nice wheel. You won a PTQ and they sent an email and said from this season there is new policy and I'm not allowed to play super qualifiers. I'm pretty sure I can. Two times double masters sealed super qualifier split championship. Oh, see, no. Any event where only first place gets an invitation, I cannot play in. Womp womp. Wait, but I thought they said I could play in super qualifiers. Does it say first and second? Where am I missing that? Oh, first and second. Oh, it, it groups them together. Aha! So yes, I can play in the super qualifiers. My mistake. I thought it was just first, second, third, but it's first and second lumped. So yes, I am able to play in those ones. Let me double check that. Yeah, Rivals League members and some other people. Players who have already earned a split championship series finale something blah blah blah. blah. We've, we've read this before. Are not eligible to participate in further qualifying events that lead to a split championship series in the same tabletop season. The only exception um, is a player can participate in a Magic Online Super Qualifier that includes both a split championship series invitation and a Magic Online Championship Showcase invitation as part of the prize. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm still not able to. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just going to ask Wizards. Um, yeah, Emra cool for Through the Breach is juicy. Kind of want to just take Glenelendra, though, or Flooded Strand, or Preordain. I think Glenelendra is too good, but Preordain is nice for the, uh, what is it, the Dread Horde we have in the sideboard. Snapcaster's nice here. I don't get it, why can't you play if, the, if you qualify just... No, so, a lot of these events don't pass down, which is why. I think I like Snappy here over Fiery. Or do I? No, actually, Snapcaster doesn't do too much in our deck. We have very few counters. 
I guess I'm going to take control magic here over Spaghetti Man. The fountain doesn't do anything except for wear and tear, which is not relevant enough. <sighs> and somehow ended up with no combos. Eh, it's only pick three. We got five more picks to get the perfect amount. Right, those ones I could I could play in. I know for sure those ones I was able to play in. Uh, double fetch and they're not even good. Okay. Uh, that was pick six. So we could still potentially get uh, Deceiver or Pestermite. Uh, I'll just take Ancestral over Avalanche. Oh, this uh, Dreadhorde is looking a lot better now. Bolt, Bolt, Ancestral, and Looting. You see that? Another nice little combo we can do is if we get stuck with like Ancestral in hand and it's later in the game, we can like pitch it to DAC or Looting. It's kind of nice. Hello, child. <sighs> Infinite combo. Infinite lightning bolts. To any targets. Wow. Does this get enough? It gets Archmage, Rabble Master, Pyromancer, Red Horde. That might be good enough. Some of the events are, some of the events only give to like first place. That one gives to second place as well. So I think I'm probably going to be able to, but I'm not 100% certain. I think we're actually cutting the Spellseeker and running the Recruiter. Spellseeker doesn't seem good enough. We might run that figure in some games. <laughs> Just have like a bad mono red deck in our sideboard. When do slash don't you run signets that are only half color? Uh, I usually always run signets that are one of my colors. The only time I think I don't run signets are when they're double off color and the deck doesn't need some form of kind of ramp, you know? <laughs> or sure, aggro decks. No respect. Nobody likes the fast bonds. Signets? No. Signets are good. I definitely play them more than the general population, but... I wonder if Force of Negation is good enough in my deck. It's probably pass passable. We have a lot of random burn cards, though. Lightning Strike... The Dolan, the Figure, the Blast, the Char. I could go super heavy Red Rocks me and just splash for a few blue cards. That might not even be bad. Cut the Dig, cut the Magic, cut the Daze, cut the Ancestral, cut the Force, keep the Dac, keep the Pierce. Keep the Glenalendra, but then go like this. Bod, Dolan, Strike, Char, Blast, and maybe Kavu. This is a kind of a weak Red Rocks Me deck, though. Hmm. No. I think I'd rather keep the blue, now that I look at it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run with the blue. <sighs> this force of negation is still a little bit suspect, but oh well. It's okay. No, I don't think the spell seeker is good enough. It's like close. 
not quite. Get Strike, Mana Morphos, like Bolt is the best hit. Meh. Chat, I don't zero zero drop. Nor do I ever zero one drop. We always play it out. See? Easy game. Turn one library. Yeah, the nice thing is I have interaction. I have some amount of burn and I have a decent number of like random pseudo counters. Friday it should be available. You feel like library loses more games than it wins. I don't think. No. Okay, what's our game plan here? I guess bolt the rat. I could wait for them to invest more into it. And then pi or confluence. But I think this is fine. I don't think I would have struck on my turn if uh, I didn't draw the force. And we do want to activate this now because I need to find lands. Subvertlas! Think of the 50 months. Straight up, just gonna kill him with burn and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and counter this because I think they might be on reanimator. Stops them from pitching a dude. Fallen Shinobi. Alright, GG. I don't even need to show him Twin, although it's probably pretty obvious that I'm running some form of combo. They're running Graveyard. I don't really have a sideboard. Let me just run back. Patrick! Thank you for the nine months, uh, Patrick Mende! Oh my gosh. Dreadhorde with Spell Pierce? Boom! We did it! No, no, the library's on top. I was wrong. Oh my freaking god, Patrick is gifting 20 subs! Holy smoke, you gifted 125 subs to the channel now. Thank you very much. Holy smoke, scratch to anybody that just got gifted a sub. That's kind of absurd. Atric, 20 gifted subs, my god. Yeah, you better be pog sliding in the chat right now. Wow, he already put us to a... You instantly put us to a level 5 hype train. Holy smokes. Thank you. <laughs> Very generous, holy smokes. Yeah, there comes the reanimator. Ah! Everett's gifting a tier 3 sub! Everett just gifted a tier 3 sub to Ninja Killer! Holy moly, Ninja Killer! You have to now post the fabled Lotus. The Numat Lotus. Oh my god. 1080 pleb, thank you for the 39 month sub. Oh, Mullins, thank you for the 11 months. Black Cross, thank you for the biddies. <laughs> Lotus slide, Lotus slide. Mullins, 
Mar the Far Cars. Thank you for the two months sub. Oh lordy. AJD5995! Five subs gifted. 65 total in the channel. What is this hype train going on? BCB Hero with so many biddies! Zweebeck, thank you for the 22 months. <laughs> Platic Puss Games, thank you for the 21 months. Oh. Darn it. Oh my god, Spastic Colon with a ton of biddies. Slappy McDonald with the Twitch Prime sound. <laughs> Chat's going crazy! Memnark with the biddies! So many pog slides. Nicole Lan! Gifting five subs. Ay 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 ay! Holy smokes. <laughs> Thank you so much, chat. They only have one card in their hand. Hopefully it's not a reanimate spell. Igby74, thank you for the 32 months. Alright, this is where drawing Ancestral would be insane. That's pretty good. Ah! Oh! Michael Convict with a 22 month sub. Chuck118798 is gifting five subs to the channel. CC Catan, 12 months sub. What is Twitch Prime tipped five dollars? <laughs> what is happening? Anonymous gifting a sub. Holy lordy. Oh my god, this is going ham. Jallard, thank you for the biddies. Wolfpack, thank you for the 300 biddies. AJD gifting another five subs? Jack of all trade! 19 months. Mullins with the biddies. It's a cha cha cha. <laughs> God. God. Lenny J89. Five gifted subs to the channel. What is happening? <laughs> Thank you all. Can't even keep up with it. <sighs> Newmont Colin, 31 months! Oh my god, it's Newmont Colin in the Pog Slide chat. DJ Fap City, 500 biddies. TJ TJ gifting a sub. Alan gifting a sub. An anonymous cheerer with 100 biddies. God, <laughs> can't handle this. I don't even know what's happening. Holy smokes. Can't even keep up. You guys are absurd. Oh my god, this is absurdity. <laughs> Can't handle this. Conky Donk, thank you for gifting a sub. Epic Death Angel, thank you for the three months sub. Sivador Smaj, gifting five subs. Nick Alston, gifting ten subs. What on earth? Sunshine gifting two subs. JT Vano gifting a sub. Laposaurus with biddies. Mini Blaze 24, two month sub. Holy smokes. Holy moly. Thank you guys so much. That was an absurd train that just happened. Lazric, thank you for more biddies. Dan Dan Storm 12, thank you for the two month sub. Derek Kanejust, thank you for the 100 biddies. Ah. Oh, what do they do? Can't play red cards. Martian Economist, thank you for gifting us all. <laughs> Holy moly. TJ TJ gifting five more subs. What the fudge? Tippeth, thank you for the five months. I don't think I can win this game.
Fred Loy with that new subscriber. <laughs> Hello, friend. I think control magic is in the sideboard. Oh, no, I do have it in the deck somewhere. Ah! Albacara with that new subscriber. <laughs> All right, Atarka kills me, I guess. Sweet heat, thank you for gifting yourself to the channel. Holy moly, man. Crazy, crazy. You guys are on a tear. I think this game's already over. I'm not sure what else we can draw. I mean, I guess it is control magic, exactly, and I probably need to draw it next turn. Thank you all again. All of the biddies, all of the subs, all of the gifted subs. Y'all are great. I love you all. Except for that one person. You know who you are. You don't need to say anything, but I know who you are. That one person, you know exactly who you are. <laughs> I guess there's no reason not to counter that. Why not Splinter Twin? I can't cast red cards. Magic Mageddon, thank you for the tier one sub. Am I dead if I don't block? No. I don't know if there's any card I can win with. Alright, we need to find the control magic that turn, maybe, and we have a shot. That Scarab Jeezy wrecked us. God, Iona on red completely just kills us, doesn't it? What's the worst that can happen with keep keeping this hand? Can't mulligan a turn one Ancestral Suspend. Now we just need to find a red source in the next two draws. Easy. Easy! Damn it. Why did I? Why did I loot? Alright. I'm gonna keep the pierce. Ah, uh, who saw that coming? That's beatable, though. It's just a rat. Oh. Raja Daja. Just one rat versus the world. Hmm? Well, just unfortunate for us since they had the, uh, since they had the, uh, s what was it, the... Kind of like attacking here. If they trade, it's okay, I think. Oh god, I wish they blocked with the other rat too. I'm not gonna loot. Let's wait until after we draw three more cards. Shinobi? Alright. Here we go. Lenalendra. Well, fortunately, they don't have the mana to do anything with that. And if we kill it, we get it back. So that was fine. Pretty good. No, I don't think I like that. Is this toxic for three? Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh, Jesus Christ. Disgusting. All right, well, 
they get to draw a card off of Mana Morphos, but at least Control Magic doesn't do anything. Yikes. I guess that's true. Yeah, they probably still block if I just take the Ninja and then I have the Bolt in hand instead. Ugh. Brutality. I guess I'm going to pitch the Pierce now to get an extra token. Holy moly. Man, that Toxic was brutal. I don't know. I have Inferno Titan in the deck. I wonder if I should have just fired off my Confluence for 6 this turn on their face and hoped. I haven't seen 13 more cards. You have to remember that they also they hit a bunch off of the Fallen Shinobi. Okay. <laughs> okay. If I had drawn a land there, I'd be able to wipe the board. I don't think there's much I can do to win. I'm one mana short of everything I need to do. That's what I was just saying, I'm one mana short. But it does nothing so well. <laughs> uh. All right, GG's. Damn. No dice. No dice. Got wrecked. What's up, Obsidian Knight? Thank you for the 19 month sub. Ah, it was just that Toxic that wrecked us hard. Well, no, I guess the Shinobi just wrecked us the entire time. Alright, this is fine. Hmm. Yeah, I get left with Bolt in hand as well. I don't know. There were There were a lot of small mistakes that ended up hurting me. <laughs> After all that hype train, how did we not win that match? Big feels. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to do that. Maybe I just bolt the uh, Glenelendra and hold up all my counters. Ooh la la. I'm just gonna land pass here. Wait until I can DAC with the double counter or single counter open at least. I don't really count days as holding up a counter. Sure. Definitely don't mind just getting our spell pierce value immediately. Alright. We in there. This is just a burnout game. Head next turn. Okay. Combat? I have to have one of their tippy tappies here, right? This ice. Petty theft. Uh, what if I just let that resolve? Six. No, we go for the kill still. Now we hope that they play like Pestermite or Deceiver Exarch or something.
They have to have something here, right? I don't know. I don't know what that was. I mean, they knew I had the days in my hand, so maybe they knew that, and they just didn't want to show the information of uh, Exarch or something. I don't know. I guess in theory they could have, like, Exarched untap one of their lands and then cast the Petty Theft to play around the days. So maybe they just didn't even have that. Hmm. Is this the classic 3-0 deck 0-3 player? Because we should have probably won that first match if I had just played it safer, right? Just make that play of killing my own Glenelendra, holding up protection. Because I had what? I had Spell Pierce and something else in my hand. And if I Firebolt the Glenelendra, then we're also holding open that. Classic 3-0 deck, 0-3 player. How many things on turn 2 do I have to do? Just one Signet? Dreadhorde? I have an easy discard and fire both if I want to. I'm okay firing this off. Big Kitty Fan! 81 freaking months! Thank you, friendo. I think I'm actually going to pitch the Recruiter here as well. Oh, wait, actually, no. I have the Ancestral and the Recruiter to go get the... Uh... Maybe I just pitch the Ancestral. Let's just do that then. Because I wouldn't be suspending it until next turn anyways. Let's do that. Good draw. Yeah, last day of Vintage Cube. It's been up for... I don't even know how long, though. It's about time it rotated out. Once it's gone, we'll simply enjoy it more the next time it's back available. I think that's how it works. Uh, we get double masters on Friday. <laughs> 10 days from now. <laughs> Nah. You can. Yeah, that's why we binned it. Ooh. No! Land gets me Inferno Titan there. Rip the run. Yo, Pizander. I think it was 38 months. Except Oko doesn't turn enchantments into Elk. I haven't looked at really all of the cards. Could not tell you. Where were you last turn? Yeah, crazy amount of gifted subs. Holy smokes. Chat is the real MVP. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and fire off the Seething Song here, because I don't really care if they counter with the Elendra, but if they don't, then I get the Titan. This is bait, really. Bait that, if resolves, is still good. They might just fling stuff at my Archmage. A TF German, thank you for that tier one sub, and Trollololo Cat, or Trollololo Cat 13, thank you to the Twitch Prime. Ho 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 ho, ho ho ho, ho ho ho, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 you do. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. I don't really feel like tapping out. So I guess we're either going to Faithless Looting here or Pyromancer. I guess I would rather Pyro or Faithless Loot here because we don't necessarily want to pitch any of these two cards. The problem with pitching Pierce is that they can just uh, shoot the 
Glenelendra Archmage. So I guess I'm just going to pitch the Pyro and Mock Sapphire. Play land and pass. This is just a shoot. Shoot on my boot. Yep. I mean, I'm going to have to eventually fire something off to force them to use their Glenelendra. Oh my god, more gifted subs. TF German is gifting five subs to the channel now. Holy pog champs. Or rather, holy pog slides. Chat is too generous today. Thank you, guys. Holy smokes. There we go. That'll do just fine. Because I, I don't think I want to tap out for Titan here. Could also just Glenelendra this turn, or rather a Zealous Conscript this turn. Man, none of my plays seem very thrilling. <sighs> I can also just pass, I guess. Attack and pass. I have a lot of instant speed plays, so I don't need to do anything. Right, it looks like they're just going to sack the last Thopter. I'm going to take the three instead of using the Pyromancer. Let's double block the P and Kirin. If they just pass again, I can Lightning Strike end of turn if I want to. I'll probably just make two one ones if they pass again. Pretty good draw. They have seven cards in their hand. What's going on? Help! Aha! Does a secret reveal itself? The fabled Library of Alexandria? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's about time you died, sucker. Hog slides in my chat. Stop them! No! <laughs> no. Well, it doesn't count because it's not a pyramid. Still no place. I think I'm just gonna bolt this and pass. What does the timeout for 10k do? Find out. It's pretty cheap. Not that hard to find out. But it does. Do 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 do. Oh my god, too many people trying it out now. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the flow! Dank dwellers on Bolt? Okay. I can put them to one next turn? Oh wait, no, three. I can't count. <laughs> they have so many cards in their hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. I'm attack with all of them. <laughs> what is going on? Does one person have like ten different accounts posting? All right. Y'all need to slow down. Y'all need to slow down and pog slide. Frickin' Mr. Destructoids in the channel. This is not what I asked for. Ay ay ay. This is why we can't have nice things. I don't know if slow mode does anything. Maybe that was too too slow. Seven cards. 
500 mana pass. How many counters do you have? I'm going to go with the Rabble Master play attack with everything. Force them to use like a burn spell or something. I don't mind them eating my conscripts. Your Hulk? No, that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, it's not fine, but... If they don't have a counter spell for Confluence, we win. Ooh, and it can't be Force of Will now. Nice. Alright. That was a strange game. Oh, you can't pog slide in emote only mode? Ah. Maybe I was debating you the whole time. Why did I join another? I should have just won one dropped with this deck. I am not feeling it. <laughs> NH2032! 39 months up! Hello, friend. This is a good hand, though. No, it's too late. Now that I've joined the match, I'm not going to concede. Hey! Hey! Everybody needs to stop. Slow down and stop with the library. Can't handle it. Oh my gosh, Ancestral Dem to take them off library. It's brilliant. It's genius. <sighs> we can strike that, so let it resolve. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I think misdirection should be in the cube? Maybe not should, but it could be. There are a lot of cards that are in the cube simply to showcase them being uh, in the most recent sets. Some of the cards in, in the cube are cards that shouldn't necessarily be in. At this point, Ink Eyes must just be a troll. This is actually going to be insane if this if everything resolves without issue. Like next turn double ancestral if everything goes right. <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up, but the possibility exists. Terror, yeah, is one of the cards I'm referencing, but there are plenty of cards that are just making their way into the cube solely because, I mean, that's true, every every new set, they just add, you know, a couple cards that maybe don't fit very well, but they showcase the new set. But then again, do they really showcase the new set if people don't even play them, you know? Can you get some positive words from you? Mr. Pork, you are worth it. You are valid. So are your concerns. If I daze this, then they can't equip. I think that's correct. Petty, oath, petty theft and brazen slash brazen borrower, I think, are worth it. I think those card. I think that card is fine in Vintage Cube. But there are other recent cards that don't make too much sense. I wonder if I'm supposed to just block. Yeah, I was gonna. I mean, it fuels my dig through time and whatnot, and I'm never gonna be able to block again with the sword. But oh god, please draw six this turn. Hung, 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 hung. Yeah, this is kind of disgusting. 
<laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my God. He's popping off. I should have discarded the Spire Bluff. I miscounted. Oh, well. NBD, we still have two other land plays, and we can just pitch it to Faithless or whatever. We drew seven, no, eight cards that turn. Draw step, double Ancestral, and uh, Mana Morphos. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I cast Looting. I forgot. I... Was that Time Warp? Sure. Yeah, I was looking at the looting in my graveyard, but for some reason I thought I just pitched it. They were f 6 If they weren't f 6 I would probably have done all three. But you could tell that, yeah. Oh, that's true as well. If they had Bolt, they would have killed the uh, Dreadhorde. That's not a good reason showcasing why it was bad. I should probably bring in wear tear. Or just wear, I should say. Uh, the Manamorphos lets me kick this. But they didn't have any enchantment. Eh, never mind. Oops. No, if this was Plateau, sure. But tap lands. Very real downsides. Ba, 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 ba. Remember, um, some cool things tomorrow. Uh, doing my double masters reveal, both of them, as well as doing uh, some Reese's gift openings. Mm. Mulliganing to five. Ay uh All right, we'll keep this one though. Because this actually does something, right? I can Faithless Looting turn one, pitch the Ancestral, turn two, Dreadhorde, and then maybe cast it on turn three. Or I could just Suspend now, turn one. Oh, fine. They didn't seem like a super fast deck, so I think I can probably Suspend. Roth only got one card to reveal. I have two cards this time. It is not an alternate of the same card, either. It's Emrakul and Emrakul the Planeswalker, just like all of my other reveals the past few years. I've already previewed two mana Emrakul before. Can't do it again. Eldrazi Planeswalker. Let's just throw out the lore. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> Plus one annihilate six. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wow, six hours on the dot. Hello. I think I'm going to make that even though it means the looter kills it. Assuming this doesn't get countered, of course. No, oh, I want to make this. Oh, they're just floating, never mind. You didn't make this, I made this. And that's even better than initially looks, right? Because I'm also taking away a mana from the academy, so I'm effectively taking two mana away from them. I'm also taking away a loot for the turn if the looter connects to Dak instead. I made all of these. Hmm. I think 
I'm just going to signet pass here. Wait until I draw an extra blue card to pitch to force before I run out the Zealous. I am letting them loot, but I don't think that's an issue. Well, it's not good, but it's fine. Oh, I meant on their turn if they have a sorcery speed effect. I know it doesn't. That That's not what I'm saying. I want to play the Zealous and then hold up Force of Negation on their turn. Alright, I'll go ahead and just counter. We might win next turn. Be a little bit lucky here. <sighs> yeah, Red Source would have won. Alright, I'm just going to loot. Feels greedy to pitch the spell pierce, but whatever. Nah, Confluence wrecks them. Maybe they just animate their fumeral GG. Alright. GG. Oh, no, 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 Kenji, no! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God. I think that's the first time I've ever misclicked on that. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think that's the first time I've ever misclicked like that. <sighs> Well, they might it, like if they don't have a way to kill this, then they're still dead anyway next turn, but <sighs> And they're gonna play it out. Okay, well. <laughs> you pass? <laughs> that is not the card I meant to discard, for the record. I meant to discard days. Oh well, maybe I get him good. I don't mind trading for the fumeral. Look, it's 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 getting to the point in the day where I'm tired, you know, it's just my APMs are low. Opponent not conceding and still playing it out. I'm not even salty. That's just funny. God, please cast a Titan here. Six mana. Just perfect. Need more water. More water stat. Damn, two mocks. Oh, we can daze that! Except I'm not going to, because Titan just kills them both. <laughs> that wasn't BM, they're BM and me. <laughs> what? How am I salty at all? 
Like they just delayed the inevitable.